Today's video is all about getting your ball position in the best place to hit your best golf shots. So we're going to look at three professional golfers, three recent winners in professional golf. And we're going to take a look at driver, seven iron and wedge and just see where they place the ball. And again, these are not just these specific three golfers. These are the commonalities that we see among really good golfers. That's what we're going to show you today. So first of all, we're going to look at the driver swing. And this may look a little farther back than what most people may think. You know, we're used to having the ball way up there inside the arch or inside the heel of that front foot. And we can see that our golfer here, and he's a really good driver of the golf ball, has it farther back than the arch of his foot or the heel of his foot. But I want you to take note of where it is in relation to his shoulders and his chest. So he's got that ball way up on his left shoulder. And I think that's a better way to think about ball position is relative to the shoulders and the chest rather than relative to the feet. And it may take a little while to get used to placing the ball there because we're all used to looking down at the feet, but the feet can be very deceiving to us because we really want to have that upper body on correctly and lined up correctly when we're standing over a golf shot. Sometimes if we just go by feet, we'll start adjusting the upper body to where that is and where our vision sees it. So as we take him in, you can kind of see the blend here of impact and setup. We can see that he now has the room. He's allowed himself room to move forward with the lower body. The upper body's moved forward some, but not a ton. And his head stayed a little bit forward of where it started or went a little bit forward to where it started, but still not drastically. And he's in that kind of hands over the ball, really classic impact position. And that's just a really good location to be in with your driver. It allows you to hit up slightly uh, if you need some more distance. And it also allows you to really compress the golf ball by having the hands in a really good spot relative to the ball. Now let's take a look at um, another winner here with an iron swing. And we're going to see uh, a little bit different move here. So we're going to see he still puts the ball forward a little farther back than where the driver swing was for the other pro, but still in front um, of center of his stance and up there kind of where that left shirt logo would be even slightly just in front of that. Because if there's one thing that we see with amateur golfers is they have two real big tendencies and they both, you know, dovetail together. One, they keep the upper body too far back and the hips too far forward and they play the golf ball too far back. So you can see how both of those feed off of each other. We see conversely, we see the pros play the ball more forward in their stance and they're getting that upper body more forward as they move into the strike in the golf ball. And we'll roll him in here where we kind of blend the two address to impact. And we can see how far the lower body and the upper body moves into contact to the point where, and this is a really good benchmark, is he's got his the middle of his left eye right over top of the back of the ball. And that's a really good spot to be in at impact for iron shots. And this is a mid iron, this is a seven iron. And you can see how he's got so much of his mass right over the golf ball and he's able to compress the ball really nicely and get that pro type trajectory just by how he positions himself relative to his ball position coming into impact. Now let's look at our last shot. So our pro here is gonna hit a wedge shot for us. And this is that 50 to 60 yard wedge shot where every amateur wants to, we get this question weekly, wants to know how to hit this ball in that kind of flighted ball flight where it doesn't just balloon. This is that more of a lower wedge flight and you're gonna see here how he does it. So first of all, where our seven iron started with the left eye over the ball, back of the ball, we can see now our wedge player, again, the ball is forward of center, but it's not too forward. So it's, it's gradually worked itself back from the driver, but now the back of the ball is where our seven iron was at impact. So we can see that left, left eye right over the back of the ball. And then as we scroll him into impact, we're gonna see that change slightly to where he has now his nose right over top of the golf ball at impact. And we can see how much of himself, all of his mass of his lower body and his upper body is on top or in front of the golf ball. And that's how you achieve 
that flighted ball flight. It's not a matter of just throwing the hands forward and keeping the head behind the golf ball. It's just the opposite. It's getting that nose or getting the throat or the buttons on your shirt right on top of the golf ball and impact. And that's a great checkpoint. So with driver, we're keeping the head behind the ball. With irons, we've seen great ball strikers put that left eye right on top of the golf ball. And then with wedges, that flighted 50 to 60 yard wedge shot, we see them put the nose or the buttons on their shirt right on top of the golf ball and impact. Give these a try next time you go out to the range when you're practicing. I think you'll see much better contact with your shots. 